Welcome back everybody. I am Jake from Ohio State and today we are going to look at the SOG Baton Q2. This will be quick because this is an older model. It's discontinued however the reason why I decided to do a video on it because I just found it on Amazon uh, for a very very cheap price and certainly worth picking up. Uh, when this guy was originally released it was 50 bucks I waited a little while and picked it up for around 35 and now on Amazon, however many they have left, you can get it for $26. And 26 bucks, this thing is a steal. It's a really cool design. I feel like a lot of engineering went into it, that locking mechanism, just the overall thought of making a suburban EDC. This is tagged as a suburban or emergency multi-tool, but I think, I mean, it just puts the four kind of most widely used tools all in one nice, neat little package, you know, that's just basically uh, as thick as a marker. And so I think it was a really, really cool idea. So uh, a couple of the specs on it, there's not gonna be too many, but uh, for 26 bucks right now, I got that out of the way. The blade on this guy uh, is a 5CR15 blade, and uh, so we'll talk about that a little bit. Your length is just six and three quarters, uh, and because they use, this is all aluminum, um, because they use the aluminum stuff, it's, it's only three ounces, uh, so I think that's really cool. Uh, the flashlight in here on the end, just for a spec wise, is 70 lumens, and it runs off of a single uh, AAA battery. And I think that's that's honestly kind of perfect. I have a couple of flashlights that use a single AAA and they try to get 100 lumens out of it. And um, that really just burns up that battery quite quite rapidly. But for, for 70 lumens and on one AAA, I think it's cool. Uh, so let's say we'll go back to that, that mechanism. Again, I think this had a lot of engineering that was really, really cool to it. So you can see that there's a red fire button um, so if you've never checked out this tool before, this would be a cool just overview for you. The little red fire button, we're going to push it and it's going to release the entire outer shell of that. You can see how that goes to pop up and then you just roll this right on down and there's your knife. You know, you know, 5CR15, look, it's not going to, you know, win any awards at all, but, you know, maybe they just kept the cost down because again, I think this had a lot of uh, really good engineering behind it and design. So, you know, they just kind of made this what it is and that's just... You know, you're going to cut tape on packages. Maybe you cut your letters open. Um, you know, I don't know, trim a, trim a fingernail, something like that, where, you know, that's really all it's really for. So I've had mine for, for a while. I really don't have any. The, one of the complaints on it was that after a while, this starts to loosen up quite a bit from, from you gripping on it. But again, I, you know, I'm just going to use this for a little bit, uh, slight use, and then put it back. Uh, I will point out one other thing that was an initial big issue and you can see right there the fact that the locking tab uh, it does ride right up on the blade and so it leaves that little bit of a mark it it, it doesn't actually hit the end of the blade the actual uh, bevel it goes above the bevel and then rides in there but sure it, it creates that mark um, but you know I mean that's just kind of part of this tool I think it's really neat and it locks in tight there's no issues at all there's no play in there um, so, so a great design, really. Back here on the end, the other little tool, you can see the slip joint style. It's just the bottle opener and the flathead, uh, fill, or flathead driver on the end there. Uh, the retention on it is fine. It's nothing crazy. It's not gonna come open, you know, when it goes closed. So you can hear it. Yeah, it's got, ooh, it's got good snap, my bad. My whole camera just got bumped. Uh, it's got pretty good snap on it. You can actually tighten it up if you wanted to with the with the pivot screws there. And again, that flashlight on the other side, right? So just a cool little package, you know, just to kind of even throw out some other stuff. Um, this is a Zebra Zebra PM701. So the permanent marker version, you know, of, of our beloved pen that we all like. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It just shows you that it's just almost the same thickness as as a, a marker uh, some other flashlights that i kind of had that were about the same this is just your standard mini mag mini mag light a little bigger than that but you know it's sort of this more bulbous head where this is all nice and slender and um big old chunky o light 
S2R, which is one of the greatest flashlights. But, you know, again, though, this is serving a different purpose altogether. And right now, look, if you guys, like me, my wife really collects pens. You know, I collect pocket knives, she collects pens. At one point in time, she had close to 1,400 pens, but they're all big box store pens, you know. But this brand uh, is really kind of taken over. I'm not going to go to, it's just a pen. This, uh, it's called Tool, T-U-L. And I think it's only uh, for like Office Max or something to that effect. But these are steel barrels and it writes super nice ballpoint. Uh, I look for like a one millimeter tip off of it. Anyways, it's just a pen, but it's cool. So uh, I always look for different ones from like a big box store. You can see it's about the same size. Uh, and just for a little comparison, so you get an idea about a knife, here is a Rat 2, which is just a little bit bigger. Uh, so there you go, man. This thing, this little guy, go pick it up. 26 bucks. It's a cool, even if you don't like it or, you know, decide you don't like it, you get it for somebody else. And for 26 bucks, that's a birthday present. Uh, so there you go, man. Sog Baton Q2. Uh, really cool design. By all means, check it out. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I always enjoy the comments. And uh, go out and promote some positivity, you know what I mean? Tell somebody that they have a cool mask or, you know, I don't know. Tell them they got cool shoes. Whatever you want to do. All right. Have a good day.